So we're back again, and I want to take you on a little journey with Priest Jones to his village. But I'll ask him to translate my questions into Locono and then answer them in Locono and tell us the answer in, and in English as well. So, Priest Jones, tell us where you were born, the name of the island you were born. That is where you were born. All right. Say that in English now. I am told that I was born in the place called Mora, Mora And how many years did you spend in Mora? How would you ask me that? How many years did you spend in Mora? In my... Yes, do the question in Locono. Okay. And now you answer your own question. I live on the, on the place Mora since I was born up to, to we were 24. And then I moved out to Masari Island. Okay. Can you say that in Lokono? Bye, yung kato morang 24 wiwa kwa. Kajike darada kwa to Masari ng washa. I remember you telling me earlier that you were born in 1946. Is there a way to say that number in Lokono? So we were the Korean wa to 1946. Oh, you would say it back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you remember anything special that people would talk about that happened in that time that you were born? Hey, um, Baro, Baro, Kaidi Arahaki, what Tasabo, Mora Oya. Yonta Wakili Wabo, my tongue, Kona Kalakono, Barita, Balita, Jili, and the Koba, my China Halo at the London, Kichaga Tadira Harirachi. Laka Fata Adeli Kona Kenlando Ateta Kevinai Jikinoa. I was told that uh, there is an island called Kabadaro where a few people used to live. They were out and the, a man used to come, an, an unknown man, a white man. My father said to me, and um, he said he was a preacher. He come as a preacher with the Bible as we have to do. And every every other visit, one will be missing. One person will be missing. And I am told that he he was living in a thatch roof house, which the people built for him. And in there he alone lives in his hammock. And after every preaching, every, he, he only preach at night. That's so the night come and then he gonna preach and the people can gather around the house. And uh, he goes in when he finish. And one, one, one person will be missing. So they wanted to know what happened. And he will tell them that he gone to heaven. Wow. And after then, they put an eye on him, watch, watch man him, we call it, to see what really is going on. And there's one person saw what he did. He went, grab him, and carry him to his house, and there he 
Kill him on me. Put him on a gray coil and burn him here. Rose him. Oh, so you said the name of the island is connected with this story? Tell us. The name of the island, we call it Kabadaro. And Kabadaro means that you have long fingers and you just grab something and it holds on. I wonder if you could tell us a little about the story, a little of the story in Lugano. Oh, um, Kabadaro na tong na sana kedama to lokotome na tare le karabasade ke also na bo care them where they have where they have to care them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So how how old were you when you were first told that story? Well, I was. Um, Maybe eight years, nine years. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That would be in the early 1950s. Mm -hmm. Yes, Guyana wasn't, we have achieved what they call independence yet. No. Yes, and the, the, the European war had just ended in 1945. Mm -hmm. what, what do you remember your parents doing to make a living? You could say it in Lugano yeah. and in English. Well, my parents were farmers. Farming in our communities, we cut farms not as big on the coastland, but just to maintain the house, the house, house people. By Ichiyoshi Marita Kabuya, you know, to Kaliwa Shabonto Kaskaboya. And what are some of the things they planted? Oh, the Mabana, Kali, to Yam Washamo, Yam is English. Kali, Kali. that's cassava. Uh, yam, is there a local word for, lamb, for yam? No, we say yam. Mm. Good, good. Mm -hmm. um, what is? Bakofa. Bakofa oh, and banana. Banana, bakofa, mm. banana. Mm. Plantain? Yeah. Same word. Same word. Same mm. word for banana mm. and plantain. Mm. Okay. How do you tell the difference between the two? Because you it, uh, the two are different. No, but what you do with the two? What you do with the plantain? Oh. Well you plant it the same way, mm -hmm. but just the plantain grows bigger while the banana grows, not as big as the okay. plantain. And you would cook the bananas as well as the plantains? Yes. Yeah. What's the word for cook? Boka. Bokai. Bokai. Mm. Okay. Ah, mm. right. So let's talk about your experience with being a, a village leader. I remember one of the things that stands out about Wakapau is that it's, it has 28 islands, mm -hmm. 28 different islands. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your experience of leadership and managing 28 <laughs> different islands. Well, um, they, um, the Kaba, to the Kabora, Loko, Nako, Hebe, and Oshikakoba, they, Dade, Bikidole, Danka, 15, we were Danka. That the Queen Betana Kuna. Into Island, to Kai River, which is Island. Kai River, Jakoji Kakafade, and Katai Motokawaka, our engine. 
At that time, we, know, we don't know about Bhutan engine. We have to Monaco Alpha to Wakoyaran, Lukuji, Nali, Oma, Chiriki, Washam. We never know about Bhutan engine. We have to paddle, we have a pole stick, and we push to the savannah to meet the islands. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what about education? Oh, education, Marikota, her card time, Ko Karojata, card time, bar, 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 Marikota, and Ale, Waman Koba, to Kokorit Island, or some Kokorit Island, Kokorit Island is one, Kayori. We, we only had one school at that time. At Kokori, Thailand? Mm -hmm. Oh. How far is that from Mission? Well, from, from the Mission is the Kokori, Thailand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Miss Jones, yes. We're talking about um, your remembrance of the school days now. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your experience as a school child. Um, I know that you grew up speaking Lokono with your parents. Mm. Tell us how many brothers and sisters and how you all used to chat together and then what happened now when you go to school. Well, um, やるんだ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ、だよ
Mm-hmm. So your your journey now in the priesthood. Tell us about how you became a priest and why. <laughs> well, they they carry a kubato. My chin now, Bolikana, Alikajinan, but he be you know to Shikakovada de the Kim Benakuna. School, they be Menakova, the Osami Kebo, alone to other Kaivichero. I walk at Tulsi, Nagazar, Ali at Bartikan. At the age of 13, 13, 14, 15, to um, Wafuji, Wafuji Lokonashkada today, 15, 15, we were down. And I was at 15, at the age of 15. And I saw for 10 years, the 25. Between the 25, 24, Danka, Heben Koba to the Bian Teodochika, and Waika Koba. You served as a Tosho, mm. but not as a priest yet. No. Mm-hmm. Um, I went to training as a priest at the age of 20, 26. Can you remember that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At what age did you get married? Twenty-four. Okay. You had a regular church wedding? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did they do anything different in the in do do weddings in Wakapau have any special cultural? No, um in our days, um it was the English English wedding. Because we had a pre John Bennett. He was the Oh, Father, priest, Bennett Father, Bennett, the, yeah. Father Bennett married you? Yeah. Oh, very interesting. <laughs> you have any pictures, any photographs of that time? No, very many of them. But in those days, we don't have cameras. Right, right. They, but there were pictures. People used to take pictures, but not very many. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And then I went on training for three years at Rupununi. A difficult place. Where we did not get the food we like, mm. we suffered, mm. oh, mosquitoes, uh, Charlie. So as the night come, you have to go in the net. Tell us a story in Lokonono. The day of Sakawa, Marikota, Habicheto, Adeli Kona, the Jambia, Ropononi, Nasha, Washa, and Karo Kwan. Omanaka Toaka. Yo, 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 Translate. Well, uh, I went on training at the age of 26, I can't even remember. Mm. I spent three years in Rupununi, a place called Yipukari. Mm-hmm. Mm. And there we suffered. Mosquitoes. We suffered for getting water in dry season. We have to walk distances to get water. Mm. And one, two person alone can't go. The whole, the whole flock of us will have to go to the creek. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You remember the name of the creek? The Yasukubu Creek. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, the food, my my wife and children, we suffer for for getting the kind of food we want. That's you're talking about Rupanoni now. Rupanoni, no? yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, to you get took the children to, with you? Yes. How many was. children you had at the time? The same four. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And did you speak to your children in, in Lokono? 
Yeah, but it's only one understand. He can't speak, but he, can, he can't talk in front of him. He knows everything. Only one of your children? Which yeah, one? The eldest the, one? The, the eldest one. But the others you let the school? Yeah, they, 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 will, talk, uh, they, will, they will know, but they can't speak. It. They hear it. They can they understand. It, but, oh, because yeah. the school took over. Yeah. And the then school. they forced the second boy. He went to secondary for five years in mm. town. Mm -hmm. And then the girl, she mm. went to secondary at Regina. Mm -hmm. If you were to turn the clock back now, now that you know what you know about language loss mm. and how education can actually make your languages go away instead of keeping them and developing them, what would you do differently if you could turn the clock back <laughs> and keep your children in the language and they still learn school? How do you think that could happen? Well, the only thing that can happen now is what we're doing, what we're trying to do. And tell us, tell us what it yes, is. What we have to revive the language from, from, from school. And then, um, and while there are other, all the people who are still in church, they don't speak, but they hear and they can understand. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, the, that's the difficulty right now. Because mm -hmm. when I speak to them, they speak two words and they mm -hmm. laugh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I go quarrel them sometimes. I don't want to hear that. Mm -hmm. They want to hear my language. Mm -hmm. Mm So um, you could tell us a little bit of how the cassava bread is made. We can't take them there, but we will show them pictures. <laughs> but you could tell us how it is made. So, Kaliwa show but na puna fa to horror loko na thamanda ha mania na puna waria to to. Na na doli tama fa na biyan sa paro biyan biyan sa kaboma kache katen na dr na dr di ba ano naman? Depan de kasawa in the ground they have to plow the 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 earth first and they plant it and they allow it to grow for between nine and ten months before they could. Rip it out. So all of all of them is nine and ten months, mm. no six months. Oh, I don't. At that time, I never know about six months. I'm just comparing to uh, what is done today, because some people tell us that you could yes. they got six months cassava yeah, and well, nine months. Well, play sad at that time. Right. Okay. So you don't know about that no. in your growing up. No. Mm -hmm. And after the planting and the reaping, what next? Well, they have to carry it in the back quick, and this kind of quick. Fetch it home, they want to scrape it out, wash it, grate it, and then they want to put it in the matter pit to mm -hmm. squeeze down mm -hmm. the, 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 mm -hmm. the juice. You can tell us that in the corner? No, there is a demon on a quay of a table behind Kauri loko, kina nime na bahang na karisafana to tuda tu kunaria, kia jike na suko safana, kia jike na safana, kia jike na to yoro wa shalom loko, to tura au chiki jindia. So you're at now at the grating and the squeezing. And the squeezing. Tell us what happens after the squeezing. Oh, after Kajaki had a little question, Nashkiato Yuraha 
Nimir, Nimir. And the son for Kabon Kaskavojara, Kajke Nanakufana, Ke Aichina to Hakoloko. When they, uh, when they squeeze it out, they take it out in the form of the, the meal, put it in the sun, and get it dry, and they will, then they will pour it in the marta, and the pestle. And then you can sift it in the, in the sieve. Manari, look. The sieve is? It's manari. Manari. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then they can bake it. Bake it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so after you pound it and you get the meal dry, mm-hmm. how do you get it into that shape for baking? Oh, they have Nashkihana Budali Jako. Nashkihana Budali Jako. Hopeful Nashamo. Nashkihana Turamakonji. Tea Budomina. Okay, English now. Oh, this, oh yes, well you have this little, this is the turn. Push and turn it. Push and turn it. Of course in Georgetown we think this is only for fun to make us cool, but this is actually a tool to use in the cassava industry. Did you say that in English, the whole thing? No. The, the grinding. Yeah, how, the, how do you get it into the round shape, the flat? Well, they have to sieve it, put it in the sieve, sieve it out, and then gather it up in, in a container mm-hmm. and put it on the pan, the baking pan. You don't have to put water to make it hold. No. It holds by it itself. Holds itself. Mm. Amazing. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. So the major crop is the cassava. I we know that so well. Yes. Um, and what I'm as soon as I think of cassava, I think of the fish. And I remember looking at priest um, at Father Bennett's dictionary and mm-hmm. learning that there were many, many, many words for fish. Mm-hmm. Because you have so many kinds of fish. Mm-hmm. I wonder if you could tell mm-hmm. us a little bit about that. <coughs> hey, um, Hime, Himebe, Yaraha Yehoro, and the Safana Tiril Koji were Dai Aichin, Hokoro, Hori, Yarao, Wabore, Okonani, Weishi, Moro, Dare. Lokidi, Kuboku, Ken Europe and Karoa, and Daitang. Right, and there are many more eh, that you might have forgotten. Mm-hmm. That alone is a beautiful thought that the rivers have so much diversity mm-hmm. and that you know each one as different. Yeah. You know, that is yeah. incredible. But then there are times when the water is very low mm. and times when the water is rising. <laughs> Tell us a little about that. Oh, Karawa, you know, to the Kaboran, Uniabo, Uniabo, Osa, to Karawabana, Wadia, to Unikano, Lapo. You know, Karo, you know, you know, Kato Hime Betomaka, Tomako Hime Bandabo, you know. Right now it's dry season, and the savanna is dry, and all the fishes come in one place, the quick, alone. Is it better for food gathering when it's dry? Is it easier to fish hey. than when it is full? Hey, um, to Karo Karo Abo. Buchakana, my foreign. Buddha Damina, Mamma Buddha Dasha Bichero, Buchakawo. To Latan Kato Nia, Vocato Farina, to Sato Karo Bana, 
লোকত হলর ইমা দেয় নয় কিছু তো পড়ে না things or you just go to the trouble of getting the fish yo bo sa ma ma shi sha bo bo de da te bi shi meaning that you go in the creek and you catch what you want to catch okay so it doesn't change the seasons the no. diet doesn't change in the seasons no okay so when you were little remember what what else did they plant if what you can remember when you were little nabona to kabya lokoje to hal chewa shon kya raha bia tona to bar hari rato kimbar koreto to koreto loko are no mari chewa o tembia fly wa shon kan ফানাকো stuff what 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 you stuff in you no know, they take all the stuff from the um, the and they, they collect the pure pure the water the pure water and that is how the fly is made and okay then, but uh, you forgot you were talking to me loco no and i couldn't understand <laughs> so you need to tell <laughs> give us a bit in english yes uh, when 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 they boil it then they boil it what you boiling the the potato okay mm. okay the planting of mm. sweet potatoes that, that, is, sweet that potato. is the red one the dark red, red one dark red one mm-hmm. they boil it in the big canary mm-hmm. over the fire and it boil to a stage they strain it out either through cloth or some mm-hmm. uh, the same on manari the sifter mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they collect the pure at the bottom and then bottle it all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then it grow it it ferments. Yeah. But could you drink it before it ferments? Could you drink it when it is fresh? Yeah, you can drink it. Do they have to put sugar in it or is it no. already sweet? No, you have to put a little sugar to taste it. Some people put a little sugar. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Yes. right so if we can try to remember what it was like in the village before you had the, you know the doctors the annex from the public hospital and so how did people treat illness you can even just think of a few things you remember mm-hmm. um nakota ibi the kitchen ka oi ko dai shokoma ka wa yo no chi marita na wa ya nebina be ke ka to abani na 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 de ko na ko na a karun da ai ta da ka to aban bali karo ben na wa de fa nai chi sha um ha de kete fa sa bo ki na bo ko fa na oni a bo ko he ko den dai ni ke je to nai sa da ka no ni ko 
Yes, I mean, in my, in my growing up, I, there were no doctors and like how we have today. What I know my parents do is they gather grasses or leaves and boil them in pot in a big canary. And when it cool down, they will bathe them. They have a special time to bathe them from head to foot, wash them clean. And that's going to heal them from any kind of sickness for them. Mm -hmm. Was there a different medicine for children and for big people? Or same? Not to me, no. What about practices to, um, to keep away bad energies? You remember anything like that? Um, well, they, I thought they, they treat me for sorts of kijinki to karawgala bukuha. Uh, leaves, you might know, the leaves, different, different leaves or grass and I just bathe them and wash them and in some cases they give them to drink too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Do you remember the names of some of those, those plants? But you would know them if you see yeah, them? Yeah, if I see them. Mm. Oh, mm. so you would not remember the local name? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you remember what we call it in Guyana? My normal Creole's names. Mm -hmm. You just throw it some leaves on grass. Mm -hmm. Or you don't want to tell us a secret. No, I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, what about violent um, injuries that come from violence, like an accident in the river and a cut? Um, or if somebody gets wounded, or if a mother is having trouble in childbirth, and so, do you recall any kind of uh, treatments? Kato bali, um, to sukunjaro, to kashparo, to kuchi, to kabo, hello, the lefiro konajaro, to ada udabina bukuha, ada no other ho. Naichisha I saw them from. Uh, the common thing is or sore today is mango, mango bark. Mango? Mm. The fruit or the leaf? The, the, the bark. The bark of mm. the mango mm. to heal wounds. Yeah, you just boil it in water and sap sap it every day. The bark itself, you strip uh, the bark. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I remember in the coconut oil production to make the graters, they take the bark of the, the, the trunk of the mango tree mm. and then they wrap the metal around it to make oh. the grater. Mm. I remember the cassava needs that grater too. Or they grate it with hand. They grate it with hand. Okay, mm. but I have seen mechanical graters. Oh. They would build this huge thing with this the and it turned by yes, car. and it turned by electricity. electricity. Mm -hmm. Some, um, I think the government did give communities small, small um, machine mm -hmm. generators, generators, mm -hmm. and, and machines to turn. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. So it's a, it's a, the, the, I know in in Dartmouth Village they use a mango trunk oh. to wrap the thing around. You don't know what they use in in your village. They are, it's a special um, this thing they use to call it kapa or some a special tree. Yeah, no, they 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 not they wrap around. It's a special metal. Copper. Yeah. Okay. And they uh, they can punch it with nails. And, yes, yes, and they, yes. But what do they wrap it on? Not the trunk of a tree? Yeah, the trunk of a tree. You don't know which tree? Any tree can Any work. tree would work? Yeah. All right. Good. So um, we can um, say that, when do you remember the doctors coming in from outside? <laughs> well, um, 
ఏంటి డాక్టర్స్ కాలేజ్ ఒక పోవర్ నైన్టీన్ అరౌండ్ నైన్టీన్ సెవెంటీ ఓకే నైన్టీన్ సెవెంటీ So the little, the little, um, the, the call is again, medical hut that was built during my, my, during my captaincy, my leadership at that time. Let, let's talk about the origin of the Lokono mm. people and what you know about it. Well, what surprised me at this time is um, I am trying to get um, all information and all stories, especially the school books, which tells about the, the, um, the, the kind of people and how or poor parents come or whatever I am from Europe. And it's, it really surprised me today that um, as far as John Bennett writes in his edition, all the names of the, the rivers in Guyana is named by Arawak. Amazing. Every word, every, all the rivers and creek is mm. by Arawak. Can we say some of the names for our participants? Because oh. they are strange to <laughs> Well, like um, Esequibo. Um, we, we call it in, in our language, in Arawak, is Deshikibo. But the English word, I, I can say, spoil it and put it in their own way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Another one? The Marara. Mm -hmm. mm. It's another word that um, which the Arawak name it. Again, um, just like Esikibo, the, the English put their own word into mm -hmm. it. The Orinoco is, is um, snake mouth, big snake mouth. Mm -hmm. Orinoco is the mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But again, the English word put it in their own way. And that is how almost the, uh, the history about us is on the verge of dying away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, my concern is that um, I really want to know from the beginning of it, because I have heard stories from old people who died and gone, how they used to walk from Europe to North America. Through, the, through what is called the Bering the Strait. Bering Strait. Mm -hmm. And they will walk day and night. Wherever night comes on them, they will rest. But not to rest. And the men will have to keep watch mm -hmm. from any danger from or any attack mm -hmm. or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And for years and years and years, they had to walk till they reached to Kayan. And the history, the book that I read, history tells that the first people that Columbus met was an Arawak man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I am, I am happy who I am, an Arawak man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, and this is why it's, it's important for us, for our children to learn the language. Yes. And That's connect, it. whether they're Arawak or not, not uh, they should learn it mm. to feel that connection to the earth mm. and the space, yes. I am thinking now about the walking because people are walking all over the earth now, not walking, but boats, boats. the boat people, mm. um, those people that are not part of the small wealthy people of the earth and they are moving all over now fast mm -hmm. looking for new lives looking for ways to make a living and with the planet getting hotter and mm. hotter and we, we don't know what is going to happen to our place if the place was to get so hot well um 
uh, to my understanding, we are destroying the, the, the peace of the world. Mm -hmm. so I, I said to a taxi driver from Anuritan, from Sipanam, we, we talk and talk and talk, and then he began to ask, me, how do I think about the oil? Mm -hmm. And I said to him, well, brother, the oil is, the oil underground is like the blood in our body. And they are drawing out every bit. And when they draw, draw out everything, that, that space is empty. And what will happen? And that causes the earthquake, you know, because it can easily fall in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it can destroy Guyana, especially the lowland. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's yeah. mankind and human being destroying the earth. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I do say that after a certain number of years, we can't take any more out because it will be too dangerous uh -huh. to take any more out. And that you, in any case, it's finite. There's only so much you can take. Mm. Yes, but they, they, I think they have to stop even before they take everything because mm. of the, the mm. heating of the, the earth, because of the burning of the fossil fuels. So we have to look to alternative ways. Yeah. Uh, um, jokingly, I said to the man, we could be born overnight. Yes. He said, uh, that can happen. The man looking at me like, <laughs> I, I take him seriously. Was it, it could happen? Tell him, yes, it could happen. <laughs> well, I look forward to the conversations that we will have. Mm. And we hope that. Um, this would be the, the only conversation, is the, is the first of many to come mm -hmm. and building together. And we look forward to seeing a, a, a Lokono unit in mm -hmm. Wakapau mm -hmm. that could give information to the schools later on. Mm -hmm.